It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Stone Brewing Company and it's a bottle of their Coco Visa. The beer is coming in at 8.1% ABV and it's been brewed with cocoa, coffee, peppers, vanilla, nutmeg and cinnamon. Sounds fantastic. There's the stone bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass. Wow, look at this. Probably not a bottle conditioned beer. Although I have had a couple of bottle conditioned beers from Stone. 8.1% ABV, this is an Imperial Stout then I imagine. Uh, we did say Stout, didn't we? Yeah, so 8% is Imperial Strength. Um, a lovely looking beer. One finger of tan coloured head. Nice levels of carbonation. Jet black beer in the glass then. Let's get the aroma. Oh my goodness me. I imagine just by the aroma of the aroma of this beer that they've kind of got a big sack of that very fine meshy material and they filled it with coffee and they've kind of tied the coffee up and they put it into the either the fermenter or they put it in the boil. I imagine they've done that because it's got a wonderful coffee aroma to the beer. It smells really good. You pick up the vanilla and maybe a little bit of that pepper. I'm ready to dive into this beer. Cheers everyone. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. What an absolutely unbelievable beer this is. Where do I start with this? Do I start with the wonderful, creamy, luxurious mouthfeel? Do I start with the pepper? Do I start with the vanilla? Do I start with that fantastic coffee, chocolate, silky smooth flavour? I think I'm going to start with them all. Because that's what you're getting with a beer. It's like one big rush of flavour. Several different flavours all coming in from different angles. Hitting your palate at... at at numerous times. To finish, I'm picking up a, a, a certain sweetness, a cocoa sweetness on the on the back end there, with hints of vanilla, but it just floats and stays with you. There's, there's just flavour there from start to finish. Wow! Wow! Yeah, loads of, this is, is there coconut? Is there coconut in the beer? No. It's got a certain coconutty. Do you know the coconut you get in a bag when you, maybe your mother used to bake a cake, or maybe your wife, or, or if you're old and you've got a daughter, maybe maybe your daughter bakes cakes for you. You know like the flaky uh, coconut that you sprinkle on the top of a cake? Even though they're not mentioning coconut on there, I'm picking up a certain level of coconut. That might be just a mix of all of the flavours that are coming together and and, and impacting the flavour. But yeah, some, some definite coconut hints here. Spicy pepper. Vanilla, my goodness me, my goodness, my goodness me. What an unbelievable, crazy, crazy beer this is. I'm gonna say it again, Stone the Crows. This, if it's just, it just says, it's a, it's a beer for the holidays and the new year. I hope, I hope this Coco Visa becomes part of Stone's permanent range and it's not just brewed for the holidays and the new year. This should be made a permanent addition to the Stone range of beers. This is wonderful, wonderful stuff. A 
and the coffee the coffee floats over the top of the of, of the flavors as well um this is a quite remarkable beer i i don't think i've had anything quite like this before in my reviewing career if you want to call it a career or say hobby let's call it a hobby i've never had I'm, in six years of drinking beer i don't think i've ever ever quite experienced a beer like this the mouthfeel is wonderful it's a creamy luxurious mouthfeel that just kind of coats the palate little tingle of carbonation lifts the flavors and pushes the beer around the mouth and releases all of them flavors and keeps the flavors there importantly uh, it's a it's a cracking beer um, I, I could stand here and talk to you about this beer and read out the label on the back but I won't what I'll do I'll ask you in stages to pause the video so if you want to pause the video as I'm going back and forth with the back of the label you can have a read yourself there you go I'll just pass it over one more time there you go you can have a little read of that label then um, stone cocoa visa I'm gonna call it an imperial stout 8.1 percent ABV It's a big stone the crows, 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.